Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the different methods of tracking an aircraft and the benefits of tracking. First, let's understand what is aircraft tracking. En route tracking refers to monitoring an aircraft's position when it is in flight. The tracking may be done by different entities, such as the air traffic control, aviation authorities, airplane operator, flight tracking services. Aircraft tracking can be done using different technologies and for different reasons. Now let's understand how aircraft tracking is achieved. Aircraft tracking technologies. Primary surveillance radar. This radar transmits high power signals. Some of the signals get reflected back from the aircraft. The radar measures the time difference between the signal transmission and signal reception for calculating the range. It uses the radar position for calculating the bearing. This radar does not provide any information regarding the altitude or the identity of the aircraft. This radar also does not require any specific equipment on board the aircraft. Secondary Surveillance Radar This radar consists of a ground-based receiver and it requires a transponder installed on board the aircraft. The transponder sends a response signal when it receives an interrogation signal from the ground station. From the response signal, the ground station can determine the aircraft's identity, range, and bearing. Mode S, Secondary Surveillance Radar This is an improved version of the basic secondary surveillance radar. This radar consists of all the functions of the basic SSR along with selective addressing of an aircraft. This radar uses a unique aircraft address to communicate with a single aircraft. The other aircraft which receive the signal will not send a response signal. This radar also provides two-way data link between ground station and the aircraft. Combined PSR and SSR Some radars use both the primary and secondary surveillance radars for aircraft tracking. The information from both the radars will be combined and provided on the display. Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast ADSB. ADSB uses GPS information to calculate an aircraft's position, airspeed, and other data. This information is continuously sent to the receivers on ground and to other aircraft. So the ADSB does not wait for an interrogation signal from the ground stations to transmit the data. From the ground stations, the information is sent to the ATC. Automatic Dependent Surveillance Contract ADSC. ADSC requires a contract to be established between the aircraft operator and a ground based service provider. This technology uses an automatic position reporting system at specific waypoints. This is useful on oceanic routes. Space based ADSB. ADSB information is collected by ground based receivers. In places where it is not possible to install these receivers, space based ADSB becomes useful. Here satellites receive the information from the aircraft and relays them to ground stations such as the ATC. This makes tracking possible on oceanic, remote, and polar routes. Advantages of aircraft tracking Safety In case of an aircraft accident or incident, knowing an aircraft's location can assist the search and rescue operations. The tracking also provides better monitoring of an aircraft in remote areas. Efficiency. The tracking can be used for optimizing an aircraft's flight path, which will reduce the time and fuel used. It also helps in reducing pilots' workload of constantly updating aircraft information.
Other benefits. The tracking information is also available for the general public to know the arrival or departure status or to see a particular flight route. Aircraft operators can use the information for planning crew members, analyze flight data, schedule maintenance work, and for cargo handling. That's all for my video on aircraft tracking. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.